I don't actually remember whether I meant. I don't actually remember whether. I don't actually remember whether I did an intro for this, so just in case. Hi guys, Dane here, and welcome to my septi tw September 2020 book haul. My god, that was a car crash of an intro. Yo, uh, I've got some books. I went to, I just was in town earlier, so I, you know, meandered around the charity uh, shops. So I picked up The Winter's Tale by William Shakespeare, one of the Shakespeare's I haven't got to yet. Talking Heads by Alan Bennett, one of his more famous works. And then Karen Slaughter and Lee Child cleaning the gold. So this has got both Jack Reacher and Will Trent in it. It's like a collaboration between the two. And I thought, because it's quite short, give it a go. Hello, uh, I got some stuff on eBay. Uh, watch out, Biggie, don't kill me. Um, so these are a lot of these are old school. So they're basically a sci-fi collection. I got it for two particular books, uh, which I guess I'll show you first. Uh, so this really beautiful edition of Foundation by Isaac Asimov. And then here we have The Other Side of the Sky by Arthur C. Clarke. Um, and then there are these four that also came with it, which I'll probably sell on as well. Um, so we have Christopher Priest, Inverted World. Uh, Nine Fox Gambit by Yoon Ha Lee. Places in the Darkness by Chris Brookmeyer and The Affirmation by Christopher Priest. So yeah, I think I've paid like seven pound for this and I'm quite happy to pay seven pound just for these two, you know, so sell the others on. So I won a load of Isaac Asimov on eBay. Um, these are ones actually, all of these are ones that I've already either previously owned or previously read. So um, we have Isaac Asimov, The Gods Themselves, Nightfall Part Two, uh, The Martian Way, Foundation and Empire, and found and foundation so these are all going to be on my ebay store as well which i'll link to below uh, and then this is all of the asimov that i haven't read so some of these go together here we have nightfall one um so i read nightfall two they were originally published as a hardback um with all of it together um but then in paperback for costs or whatever reason they didn't do that so um so yeah I've read two, but part two, but not part one, even though it's just half of the hardback. Uh, here we have these go together, actually, so we'll save those. We have a Foundation and Earth, Foundation's Edge, and then here we have The Naked Sun, The Rest of the Robots, and then Creations, Introduction and Notes by Isaac Asimov, The Quest for Origins in Story and Science. So very cool. And then here we have the early Asimov volumes 1, 2 and 3. So, um, yeah, super excited for these. Uh, especially because short stories, man. I really love Asimov's short stories. He's really uh, probably one of my favourite short story writers of any genre. Hello, I forgot a couple of books. Um, I also got these from uh, Tesco because it was, yeah, two for eight pound. Um, and I just, I felt like treating myself because it's been a bit of a bad news week. So, um, so I picked up The Institute by Stephen King and Gotta Get Through This by Louis Theroux. And uh, these have both been on my uh, wish list for quite a while now. Let's have a look what we are on. My current stats, 2,934 2, want to read, um, 67 currently reading, 2,181 read. So I guess, well I mean if a man has three score and ten, right? I need to have read, I need to read about another 600 books by the time I'm 35 so that my read <laughs> number is uh, at least the same or, as, or higher than the number I want to read. That's a lovely thought to leave you guys with. Hello, I have a uh, little package here. Um, so I'm going to take you through this. I think I know what it is. I think it's Dr. Seuss. Yeah. So I'm slowly trying to work my way through all of the Dr. Seuss books, but I also have a friend who has a kid, so I might give her these, I don't know. Uh, we have The Cat in the Hat, knows a lot about that. Safari So Good, all about African wildlife, by Bonnie Worth. Oh, so these aren't even official Dr. Seuss things, um, but I guess I'll read them anyway. Ice is Nice, all about the North and South Poles. Why oh why are deserts dry? Show me the honey. Oh, I'm not even holding these up on camera. Oops. Home for Christmas. Hooray for hair. Now you see me. If I ran the horse show. 
if I ran the dog show and the tree doctor. So I didn't actually look at these properly, so I might not even bother reading these as they're not Dr. Seuss and I already have crap loads of Dr. Seuss to watch. But um, I can pop these on my eBay store, so there is that. Hello. Uh, for some reason my viewfinder is upside down, but that doesn't matter too much. I've had some books in the post. This is actually just the first pile, but um, my room is an absolute mess, so I need to like slowly tidy my way over to the other pile. Basically, I won some job lots on eBay, so there are certain authors who I'm trying to read all of their books, and eBay is a great way to pick up a bunch of their books, you know, at a reasonable price. So this is a Spike Milligan job lot. Let me see. I can tell you exactly how much I paid for this. Uh, da, da, da. And then what I do is any books that I've already read, they just go straight on my eBay store, whereas the ones that I haven't read then go straight on my TBR list. And usually if I'm buying a job lot, it's because there's at least one or two that I want to read, you know? Oh, wow, okay, also breaking news. I've won 200 sci-fi and fantasy books for 60 pounds. <laughs> That's including postage as well, so that's exciting. Because again, I'll just take the ones that I want to read and the rest of them I'll, I'll sell on. So, this bundle here, this was a total of £12, uh, including postage. And I got, uh, these are all Spike Milligan, a book of Millig animals, Man of Letters, which I'm presuming is his uh, published letters collection. And Spike Milligan, again, he's one of these authors I want to read all of their stuff from. So, um... This is good news for me. Uh, Spike Milligan, The Looney, an Irish fantasy. Frankenstein, according to Spike Milligan. Monty, his part in my victory. Black Beauty, according to Spike Milligan. Uh, this is, what is this? The Spike Milligan Annual. I didn't even know this was a thing, so that's cool. Uh, and then we have, Where Have All the Bullets Gone? War Biography, Volume 5. And I've enjoyed his previous war biographies as well. I've read like 1, 3 and 4 or something. And then for some reason we have this several times. Spike Milligan, A Celebration, The Best of Milligan. So I have two paperbacks and one hardback of this. Um, but again, assuming, I mean, what did I pay for again? £12? And there, I think there, and there are 11 books in this. So assuming I make £1.50 profit on each of them were golden so that's where we're at all right uh, a few more books so uh, okay let's have a look at what i paid for these i guess all right well we have the listerdale mystery by agatha christie this was just 328 i got this because i did previously have addition an edition of it but it was falling apart so i wanted to get a better one um, and then we have four vintage sci-fi books which that was 650 total including delivery and then a uh, bundle of Dean Coots and various other stuff, Stephen Kingy ones, 919. So I guess this remaining lot was what? About 15 quid. So we have Hideaway by Dean Coots, Arthur C. Clarke, The Sentinel, Stephen King, The Outsider, I've read this one, Dean Coots, Dragon Tears. Arthur C. Clarke, Childhood's End. Arthur C. Clarke, A Fall of Moon Dust. Richard Lehman, Among the Missing. John Wyndham, writing as John Benyon, Wanderers of Time. The Bazaar of Bad Dreams by Stephen King. And then we have Others by James Herbert and Cure by Robin Cook. So out of that lot, I plan to read uh, The Sentinel, uh, Childhood's End, I think I've already read, A Fall of Moon Dust, Wonders of Time, The Bizarre of Bad Dreams, and others. So, I mean, assuming I have read Childhood's End, which, because I think I have, that's still, I paid like £3 for each book that's gone on my to-read list. And then all of these ones are little bonus ones that I can then sell on to make a few quid. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you can't see this, but Biggie's right above the camera investigating it. Having a little snifter, aren't you, Biggs? Um, I had a couple of things come in the post. I'm not sure where my tripod is, so that's why you're not on tripod. I say a couple of things came in the post. One thing came in the post. 
and it is Penguin Classics of Aesop the Complete Fables. Oh, cheers, Biggs. Yes, you're you're right on the camera, aren't you? You're right on the camera, aren't you? Yes. Are you excited? I'm I'm quite excited because his fables are short, aren't they? So it. What are you reading? Are you reading this one? You picked the lion, the wolf, and the fox, did you, Biggs? Is that your favourite? Yeah. Yeah. Thought so. Bon soirée, je m'appelle Dane. Et uh, j'ai beaucoup de livres. Merci à mon ami Charlie pour m'envoyer uh, ce cadeau. Il y a trois bandes dessinées. C'est livre en français pour l'enfance. Uh, on peut. Uh, C'est comics slash graphic novels en anglais. Um, bon. Okay, right, after that, <laughs> fortunately these ones are in English, um, yeah, these were all sent to me by Charlie, Charles Heathcote, basically he, he got these uh, at his charity shop and he knows I'm trying to learn French and that I'm partial to reading in French, reading in French is so much easier than speaking in French, if any of you speak French let me know if what I just said made any sense, I'm pretty sure it did, I'm probably, I probably bastardised a few bits and bobs, I'm pretty sure I had my subject verb agreement out of whack at one point, but anyway, um, yeah he said uh, he'd had these in, so, um, and he couldn't sell them on at the charity shop, so I, I sent him a tenner just to, you know, to give to the charity shop, um, and he sent me these, but he also sent me, he sent me three widgets, which are the little balls that come inside beer cans, um, for me to play with, with, uh, Biggie, and he sent me these little Masters of the Universe, uh, books as well, so we have A Trap for He-Man, The Iron Master, look, I don't know, actually, I was gonna say Le Maître, I don't know what, uh, je ne sais pas, Iron, en français, <laughs> uh, Castle Greyskull, Under Attack, a trap for He-Man, and He-Man meets the Beast. So that would be, uh, is He-Man in French? Elon, <laughs> Elon Musk. <laughs> would be Il for He, and Om for Man. So it'd be Elon. Elon rencontre la bête. Ah, <laughs> oh, right. I get quite shy about speaking French because, as is evident, I can't really do it. Je ne parle pas français. Alright guys, that is it. So, as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and if so, what you thought of them. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button for more. And I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.